Virgos, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you end of August 2020. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a node. It doesn't matter to me. You know I love you all. Everything is pre-shuffled and upright. If it comes out reversed on a clarifier, I will read it as such. I do not read from the floor. Oracles are preset. I am using Dreams of Gaia Tarot as oracles as well as Sacred Rebel. Cross Watchers. I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. I love you, but this is Virgo's Read. Guys, thank you in advance. Like, share, subscribe, comments, emails, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you. We're going to start with pre, uh, start with pre-shuffle energy with the Pukas here, Everyday Tarot. I love, love, love this. Do you see that? Empress energy. Abundant. Intuitive. Birthing life-changing events. Beautiful energy to be in. I love it. Libra, Taurian energy. Moving right into, look at that, the star. Manifesting, wishing, hoping, dreaming. Uh, Piscean, Aquarius energy here. Oh, yes, because it's your time. Judgment. Come on through, Virgo, if you come in. Come on with the high priestess. I'm not playing with y'all. Oh, wait, Virgos, you have been on spiritual fire lately. Gee, B, Christmas, come on. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And you are just work, 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 work. Look at that, working on your craft, mastering your skills, letting this change come through. Scorpion energy here with the death. Yes, meditating, oh, receiving listening oh come on virgos listening i hear you i hear you listening for this communication to come in so that you can go ahead after what it is that's for you beautiful eight of cups here cancer pisces scorpio moving away from maybe blood sweat and tears but because you know there's more out there for you that's going to balance you out six of pentacles i love it okay and make you happy ten of cups virgo if you don't stop playing with me come on now maybe a fire sign aries leo sag or this may be an energy that you take on because you're setting this new foundation with this ten of pentacles uh, uh, <laughs> virgo <laughs> passion drive focus intuition uh marriage material but doesn't mind being single you know um guys this is a powerful this is just coming out powerful powerful bup, 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 like I look right into the magician i can't with y'all i can't i love peanut butter mother loving sandwiches you know what i'm saying <laughs> Manifesting uh, cleansing, manifesting healing, um, Piscean, Tori, I'm sorry, Scorpion energy here with the moon. Also manifesting clarity, uh, manifesting seeing past, um, knowing more, you know, um, and uh, having discernment, you know what I mean? Manifesting also movement, chariot energy, cancer energy here. I love it. I love it towards this communication queen of swords libra gemini aquarius um huh that you're holding back from uh libra gemini aquarius queen of swords energy is a uh, true for energy factual energy um someone who is very direct this may be someone that uh wants to make you an offer a tangible offer with a page of pentacles or you them that's leading to a brand new beginning with the mother loving boomstick boom 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 baby or poom poom stick for the fellas don't matter to me all right but it starts to embarks and sparks a brand new beginning that was starts embarks and sparks a brand new beginning i like the way that sounded <laughs> full energy here even though you're not sure about it what is this uncertainty whether or not it'll be the right thing for you whether or not it'll work whether or not it'll produce hmm there is some doubt 
but that's okay. You know, we're human. All right. Um, the energy is coming in so hard and strong and fast. It's almost unbelievable. You know what I mean? And I can understand that. Uh, overall, the uh, Nine of Pentacles energy, uh, singular energy here, independent energy, intuitive energy, abundant energy. I love it all. Okay. And it's all yours. This is all yours. Libra energy here with justice. You deserve it. Uh, offer again coming in or you're making one because somebody it has a new perspective but there's a constriction hmm healing patience patience okay yeah that may not be a virtue let's just say it like that okay uh, there's an issue of healing um karmic ties that have been severed, um, maybe coming out of um, addictions. Yeah, you see all this conflict with this devil energy, Capricorn energy here. A lot of conflict, possibly in a marriage with the Hierophant energy. This is Taurian energy. Yeah, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, King of Pentacles. This is a married energy, okay? Um, and again, you know, this is not going to be for everyone. This is just pre-shuffle energy, guys. So take what's for yours, what's for you, rather, and leave the rest. Uh, but some of you will be uh, moving towards some peace and tranquility, peace of mind, you know, and, and starting over, you know, starting fresh, leaving somebody out in the cold. Decision needs to be made. There's your energy here with this hermit. Again, giving or receiving this offer. Maybe to an Aries or a Taurus with the Emperor here. This is boss energy. CEO, COO, CFO. You know what I'm saying? A militant energy. Owner. Um, abundant. But it can be controlling, so be careful. Okay? Be careful. But uh, love offered nonetheless, but you may see it as a burden and you want change. You possibly want to just move, just get away from it all. Yeah. You, for some reason, I don't feel that your love interests. Yeah, look at that. Four of cups, five of cups. I don't feel your love interests. I feel that you trying to work. I feel that you spiritually trying to grow. I feel that I don't feel like love is on the mind. You know what I mean? And you're trying to make a difficult decision to embrace this change, and it's difficult. You know, it's a difficult decision, and it, it, it may have you up at night, you know what I mean, with that Nine of Swords. It may have you worrying, um, a little anxious, okay? But the Wheel of Fortune is here to turn and give you favor to give you help with this new beginning, even, you know, possibly with options. Or this could be you coming out of being an options because you were backstabbed and betrayed. Yeah, and that was a hard battle. Could have been a third-party situation or somebody maybe at work from a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Wow. And this person was supposed to be your everything. Now we in love, that's for sure. Mm. Now we in love. We, they were supposed to be your everything, and you've known them for a long time. Nine of Cups, the Sun, Six of Cups. Yeah, that was supposed. To, what did I just say? Lovers' energy here. Gemini energy. That was supposed to be your person, but you know what? Clarity, divine understanding, divine understanding with this Ace of Swords. Okay, you know. Whatever it is that you were asking, uh, your questions have been answered, or they will be, okay, um, about this offer of love. Coming from, like I said, Aries Leo Sag, Cancer Pisces Scorpio here, one or the other, or maybe you're deciding between two because of this third-party situation that has had you stuck and stagnant in deceit and heartbreak. Let me get out these pukas because you know what? Whew. Y'all know I could stay there. All right. Oracles. All right, guys, listen. This bothered me 
to my core. I'm going to tell you that now. And this is not going to resonate for all. Some of you, because you have gone through a spiritual uplifting, uh, a, a spiritual ascension, let's say. We talked about energetic leeches at that time. I told you people are going to know. They're going to sense it. You understand? I think that some of you have somebody in your life that is a mother or mother figure in this realm or not. But this person means you, I'm not going to say means you no good. It's feeding, feeding, leeching, latched on, and they're using your love or a love itself. That was the message that I got actually, using love as a weapon. Okay, this person, this person is using love as a weapon to stall you, to stall you. It's almost as if to give you doubt and hopelessness. Um, I don't think it's fear. It's more of hopelessness. It's more of it's just doubt like I, I can't do this I, I won't I can't do this you understand what I'm saying this person okay is creating these things within you and it's making you lose insight lose clarity you're losing the imagination that you have that light came on you were able to see you were dreaming of wonderful things for yourself and the world you know and then all of a sudden it's like it was going away and it hasn't it's being taken okay know that I think that in the past that there were some of you in a third party situation with this three of water um in the past, some of you have been trying to talk to friends and family to understand your journey and didn't realize that was exposing you. And now that person is feeding off of you because this feels like a family member to me. Okay. Somebody really, really close. So even if it's not blood, it wouldn't matter. You love them the same and they love you. They're just, this is how they are. You understand? This is how they are. The good thing is that I think you're going to realize it and you're going to look a little deeper. You, I think that you're going to have some fear and some doubt. I don't want to say fear. I'm going to say that there will be a lack of passion, not the same drive that you had before. But you're going to look a little deeper with this uh, seven of fire, okay? Um, this this is uh, looking for, you know, st signs, looking for answers, um, tapping into intuition, you know? Looking a little, little deeper, little deeper. And you should. Ace of uh, water at the bottom of the deck. Your cup of love, divine love, is right here for you. Chakras lining up. Yeah, you see that? Fruit being produced right under that. Passion in play. You know, a sacred rebel pulled for you inspiration. And the little bees are giving you information. They're giving you tidbits. How and when and why and who. But it's just coming in little by little at a time. So you've been trying to like put it together. And it's been difficult because somebody's eating from your garden, babies. You understand what I'm saying? Somebody's eating from your garden, this person. We're going to clarify to see who this is and what the heck is going on. Center energy, please. Ace, Eight of Swords. I, what did I just say? This is a feeling of doubt. This is a feeling of being held back, lacking luster, passion. What does it clarify with? The eight of mother, love, and swords. Mental conflict. 
mental, but that means it's all in your mother loving mind because divine is here for you. Okay? Tell me more. Center energy for Virgo. Tell me more. Thank you. Queen of Cups. With the eight of mental. This person is supposed to be mothering and loving and nurturing and loving unconditionally without terms. Not uh, just because, not as long as. You understand? Just love. Why is this person holding you back? Holding back your passion, your new beginning. The same thing. The mother, Queen of Cups, same person. I don't know who this is. Guys, are the, for the ones that this is resonating for, but you're going to have to set boundaries, my darlings, because your family is your family. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> I'm laughing because as <laughs> soon as the world popped out, all I heard was, I'm moving. <laughs> Some of you guys are literally moving far away. Like, that's how you're going to solve that. I'm getting out of here away from you. I know that's right. Tell me about this world energy for Virgo. Because that is cycle complete. It's, you know, hey, that'll solve the problem. That means problem solved for some of you. The move is required. And if that's what's required, then make it happen. Shoot. Thank you so much. Page of Swords. Um, could be immature communication. Could be spying. Three of Swords reverse. I stand by my original statement. Because the message I heard was this person uses love as a weapon. And they give you a breast to lay on, and it feels so good and safe. You understand what I'm saying? Like a genuine love hug, but at the same time, it's like energetically, you feel drained when, when they hug you. Like you can feel the light, the light being shared. You understand? Because it's, it's yours. They can't take it from you, but they're definitely feeding from your light okay um and they're doing so with love they're doing so with love like i'm not hearing if you love me you would it's more so don't you love me don't you love me i love you i would do it for you you understand what i'm saying that's that's what i'm hearing Tell me about the three of water for the past energy. Thank you. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, Page of Pentacles. You know, like I said, some of you did reach out to friends and family. You know, as far as a get together, have drinks, have dinner, what have you, um, just to get a reprieve, you know what I mean? Uh, to get your balance, to, to just get away from the situation. Um, but it looks like whatever you're waiting or anticipating, you know, to come in with this page, this offer here is taking its time, but it's coming because it's in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles here. Or maybe it was stalled out because pages are, you know, they're, you, they're wishy-washy. They can change their mind in a heartbeat. You never know. Tell me more. Let me have more, please. Past energy for Virgo. Seven of Swords. Yep. You know... It's almost as if you felt like you can't get peace at home. 
you looking to friends, you know, to try to get a reprieve. You couldn't get peace there. Like that's some funky going on there, and you're just tr it's it's making you lose your 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 mojo. You know what I mean? It's discouraging. Let's just say it like that. It's friggin' discouraging to to turn here and there and not feel um, that you're in a genuine loving space. You know what I'm saying? Why is um, the nine of air undermining Virgo? Why is Ace of Cups? See? It's discouraging. Feeling like I can't get no love. I can't get no unconditional love. Everybody wants to love me the way they want to love me. You know, trying to control who I love, how I love. Tell me more. And look at the Nine of Swords again. That's stressful. <sighs> but we're moving into a higher level of intuition, seeking answers and understanding with this Seven of Fire. Tell me about that, please, for Virgo. Seven of Fire for Virgo, please. Future energy, thank you so much. I have two here, which is the Nine of Wands and the Mother Loving Magician. Mm, 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 mm. This lack of passion, this lack of drive, this lack of oomph, you're going to manifest it right back. You see that? You're going to get it right back. You're going to use your powers, your skill, your knowledge, your light, and get yourself right back to where you need to be going after your dreams. Tell me more. Let me have one more because that's looking good to me. Thank you so much. Ten of Mother Loving Pentacles. Guys, it's going to happen. You just needed to know who these people were and how they operate. All right? This is what you needed to know for yourself. So you know how to move in the future. I'm not saying sever. Okay? The ties. I'm saying that boundaries need to be set. And some of these boundaries, you know, need to be really, really, really wide. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of you are already thinking, excuse me, about moving. So you already know that. But that brings you into your brand new beginning. Don't forget you had the Ace of uh, Water at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Cups, you know, divine um, uh, emotional fulfillment, Ten of Pentacles here, um, uh, good grounding, foundation, okay, abundance. What's at the bottom? the wheel luck be your mother loving lady tonight turning in your favor turn it in your favor your ancestors are speaking to you my love do, 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 do. all I could hear was do, 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 do. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy but uh, I gotta I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth you know what I mean I'm gonna tell you the truth all right let's put some rebel down I don't recall shuffling this deck. Hold on, let me just think. No, I didn't. I don't recall shuffling uh, after my last reading, guys. Just give me a second. I'm sorry. Because, you know, I like everything pre-shuffled for uh, the energy of the sign I'm working on or the person I'm reading for. Hold on. Right, my darlings, final messages, please, for ooh, Virgo. Thank you. Final messages for Virgo. Final messages, please, on the spread for Virgo. Final messages. Thank you so much. Thank you. Final message. Oh, thank you. Okay. Last run. Thank you so much. Thank you. Final messages. Thank you. All right. 
All right, my darlings, we have you need some effing yoga in your life. That means it's, you know, time to meditate, to clear your head, clear your um, energy space and just be in a space of receiving. You know, if you're thinking, then you're not um, meditating. You know, a meditation is a clear channel. So try to think about nothing. Try not to think about the dishes and the kids and school and laundry and work and parents and mother-in-laws and all that stuff. You understand? Just try. Okay? Ancient-ish is cool. Be effing grateful. And I know you already are, but it really could be worse. All right? I know it's a bad situation, especially for those of you that have a mother figure that you feel is betraying to you, but you know, it could really be worse. Uh, whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. No revenge. Okay. And now is not the time. No revenge. Okay. Get the F out of your head. Do you see that? Get in your heart. It misses you. That doubt, that fear, that anxiety It's time to get rid of it. Okay. Do that with some laughter. Why not? All right. Where's your sense of humor? Because I know it's in there. It's dark and you can't see an effing thing. Get your head out your behind. You know, that means get out of your own way. Stop going in circles, chasing your tail. Believe what you see, my darling. Face reality or live in effing la la land. Choose bravely. Wow, these are almost the same cards I think I got for Gemini. You're being shady. Watch out. Ish could get ugly, and you don't want that, okay? You don't want that. It is an ugly realization, and um, boundaries, I think, will... Um, will assist you with your journey, you know, setting up some boundaries. If you're not in a position to do so physically, do so spiritually. Because you guys know about that 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 um, that box. You know what I'm saying? I know you do. All right? If this doesn't resonate for you, please check your moon and rising. But don't take this energy with you. Leave it here for your fellow uh, Virgo sisters and brothers. And remember, guys, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll see you next time.